On my channel, I commonly speak on the topic of nostalgia, how nostalgia influences current trends, the filming industry, and even fashion. And there's no element that is more nostalgic than music. Music has a way of transporting your mind to a place or memory of the past, present, or future. Everyone's favorite music platform, Spotify, recently dropped their personalized 2022 Spotify wrapped playlist. The time? is among us. This week is Spotify Wrapped Week, a time where men lie, women lie, but Spotify, Spotify doesn't lie. Making everyone feel self-righteous in their music taste and how their music taste is better than anyone else's or possibly feeling insecure for their basic and stale level of music choice. So I'm here to say that your music choice does suck and mine is superior. In this video, we're going to dive into how Spotify rap changed the social media game, its origin, and its influence on trends today. Oh, and if you stick around until the end, I'll show you my Spotify rap playlist too. Like I said, I have the best music. Hey, hey, I'm not done yet. Blah. For some, the holiday season rings in after they've had their carts stolen at their local Walmart during Black Friday. But for others, the holiday season has officially arrived when Spotify dropped that banger Spotify rap playlist on November 30th, 2022. Before users could press play on Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You, users were presented with a notification that would drastically change their next 24 hours. The brightly colored interactive presentation is equipped with fun banter and user data in the cutest format. Wow, Spotify really does know how to make data surveillance super trendy and fun. Honestly, the Spotify rap playlist probably tells you more about yourself than your therapist. Right now, mine is telling me that there's a lot going on up in the old noggin. Noggin! Now, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy! Next! Next, Wild Side. After that. After that, Ghost Rider. A lot. Social media trends rise and fall rapidly every hour of the day, week, month, year, century. But the day that Spotify drops the rap playlist and chart, the only social media trend that matters is theirs. Proof of this is the fact that both YouTube and Apple launched their own wrapped-like features, recap and replay, the prior day on Tuesday. Sorry to interrupt, just thought I would mention this. Spotify Wrapped has also inspired platforms outside of the music industry. Platforms like Twitch, Reddit, and Pinterest have all experimented with personalized yearly re-recaps for users as well. Only to be overshadowed by Spotify Wrapped the very next day. <laughs> class. Today we are going to decipher the elements to creating a successful Spotify rap playlist. The goal of this wrapped, if you will, is to present your user with statistics based on their every choice within the platform that you've collected. Tracking these users can give us insight into their psyche, hobbies, and demographics to some. User surveillance may have negative connotations connected to it, but for us and our goal is to show users that collected data can be fun. The artist genre and song choice that appear on these lists will then go on to be judged by an online audience of friends, family, or complete strangers. People often lie on social media, it's nothing new, because they are afraid of being judged by others. And social media is the one place where anyone can craft and curate a personal brand, identity, or virtual avatar. But on Spotify Wrapped Day, there is no more lying on social media. Only brutal statistics on the ungodly number of times you were played Seabag by Hudson Mohawk. Because data don't lie, baby. Data only tells the raw and uncensored truth. You see, Spotify Wrapped Day is the one day on social media where everyone is truly unapologetically themselves. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, the, uh, the Spotify Wrapped came out. No, oh, let's go. No, oh shit, no, no. let's go. Let's Damn, go, let's bro, go. I got 50,000 minutes this year. That's it, bro, Holy I got 80,000. 80, 80 bro, I only got 20K. <laughs> man. Bro, I got 1.2. <laughs> what? The, the mint, I got 1.2 mil. What? what the fuck? Let me see that. Take it, bro. Take Let me it. see that. Holy shit. What? 
Oh, okay, okay. He's okay. lying, yeah, right? Yeah, to be fair, he's got 80,000 minutes of white noise. Mm, oh, okay. you know, yeah, 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 I sleep yeah. a lot, bro. I sleep uh, a lot. 189,000 minutes of meditation music. Damn, is... dog, you be mad calm. The day Spotify wrapped drop and the days following allow for Spotify users to span their music taste on every social media platform that they have a profile on. In fact, once Spotify wrapped drops, it's probably the one and only day that you have that one friend that like never posts and then they actually like randomly post out of nowhere and you're like oh my god where have you been this whole time like i've been trying to text you call you everyone's reached out to you and now you're here posting your random spotify rap playlist like we thought you were dead evan greer director of digital rights advocacy group fight for the future clearly states spotify has done an amazing job of marketing surveillance as fun and getting people to not only participate in their own surveillance but celebrate it and share it and brag about it to the world like i said spotify just knows how to make data look sexy personalization has been a long time craze in retail for quite some time now. You can have just about any surface, material, or fabric tailored so everyone knows that you are the owner of that product. You ever walk into a gift shop for a museum or amusement park and come across the magnets, keychains, and other products that have first names on them? If you have a common name like Erica or Justin, finding gift items with your name plastered across them is no problem whatsoever. But as you can imagine, the more imaginative that your parents get with your first name, the harder it is to find a magnet with your name. Yeah, having the name Rylan is cool and all, but it was tough when it came to visiting gift shops because I wanted one of those personalized keychains too. But instead I would just have to buy a keychain with a name like Dylan or Ryan on it and then like take a Sharpie marker after and just... But personalized and custom products do show that consumers want to feel seen, express their uniqueness, or be part of the product creation process. Today consumers can buy a plethora of mass customized goods from underwear, wood, body pillows, socks, bobbleheads, and even potatoes. No, seriously. You can also buy a personalized potato and have it delivered to your friend with your face on it or their face on it. The option is all up to you. Deloitte found one in five consumers who expressed an interest in personalized products are willing to pay a 20% premium. Many popular brands rest their entire strategy on the ability to customize. The Nike by You website, formerly known as Nike ID, for example, offers customers the ability to customize their shoes. They can pick the color of the bottom and top of their new shoes, the pattern, shoelace color, and even have an inspiration message sewn into the tongue of the shoes and the option to share their designs online as well. According to Brand Channel, Nike by You has seen its online business triple since 2004. The opportunity to take part in a process and influence the end result promotes emotional attachment that leads to psychological ownership. The feeling that something is mine even without legal ownership. Consumers like the ability to show who they are through what they experience, style, preference, and music taste. Music we listen to might not seem intimate or personal, but when you are presented with a presentation displaying that someone played We Don't Talk About Bruno 120 times in a row, this may indicate a deeper connection. Music has a way of expressing feelings or words that are hard to verbalize or even display. Oftentimes, therapy will promote listening to music because it helps people to understand and connect with their emotions. Spotify uses this connection to music to deliver listeners that personalized touch and recognize that listener's uniqueness. Spotify released its first version of A Year in Review in 2015. The popularity of Spotify rap did not grow to new heights until a couple years after when they started to implement the neon colored art we see today. In 2021, Spotify Wrapped was shared 60 million times by users. This year, Wrapped included more insight that added a personal dollar on top of the Spotify cake. Listeners were given personalities based on their go-to their go-to music preference and entered the multiverse of newly discovered music genres. The genres, musicians, hours listened, and top songs listed can really express who people are. You may have even learned a few things about a friend, family member, or one of your favorite creators through them sharing their Spotify rap. And the people who share their personalized playlist will go on to justify their reasoning for their music selection. I was depressed. I went through a breakup. I was being a bad bitch. I was working through internalized misogyny. 
Spotify rap gives you insight because listening to 21 Savage back to back is part of who you are, who I am, because I love 21 Savage. And you should know this if you've been watching my content for some time now. Go back to those Coachella videos where I got that hoodie. Ready to go see 21 Savage? Are you ready to see 21 Savage? Okay, so now we have arrived at the moment that we have all been waiting for, or at least that I've been waiting for. I'm enjoying this, so if you're enjoying this too, make sure to uh, hit that like button and subscribe. Let's do this. Spotify, your rap is here. Obviously I can't play all of the music that's being played on this due to copyright reasons. This year you ventured into the genre verse as I explored 47 different genres. Number one being rap, number two being art pop, electronica number three, underground hip hop number four. Oh gosh, they don't even give you time to like really look through it. Okay, total play time for me was 20,315 minutes. I can't read this fast. How am I supposed to read all of this this fast? Bye. Oh, my top song was Bloody Feature by Kilo Kish. I love her. It makes sense. I played it 21 times, apparently. I played 2,614. I can't read this fast, freaking Spotify. All right, here is, uh, can you guys see that? This is my top songs. Oh, I changed already. It keeps changing too fast. All right, my one critique, Spotify, if you can just slow this down a bit. I know that people consume a lot of content today in like very quick format. I've listened to 1,451 artists this year, but my top artist was Kilo Kish. I was really going through a phase with her there for a minute. Okay, they're doing a lot here. Now they're putting all of your different artists on a magazine cover. Okay. It says my top artist, number one, is Kilo Kish. Number two is Lil Peep, because that comes from Justin. We obviously share the same Spotify account, and he loves Lil Peep. Number three is Boy Harsher. Yes. Number four is FK Twigs. Yes. And number five is Alex. Yes. I'm really digging deep into experimental kind of art pop, like it said. I'm still kind of surprised. Like, I, I do listen to a lot of rap, but I don't listen to it back to back. Like, I have my moments. Podcast. My favorite ones are Unfuck Your Brain. That's my, like, top one that I listen to. Flagrant with Andrew Schultz. I love him. He, like, consistently makes me laugh. And then Unladylike. I don't really listen to a ton of podcasts. I usually watch a lot of them on YouTube. But when I am listening to some, those are my go-tos. This year had layers like an onion. You're resorting to Shrek quotes now. When you hear this quote, this is obviously from Shrek. I heard it in that new Lord of the Rings spinoff show and someone said it in that. Yeah, the elf said it. And Lord of in Lord of the Rings? There it is. Oh, there it is. That is my Spotify wrapped for 2022. I'm curious to see what kind of shit I go through in 2023 and how that reflects on my music taste the next year. If you stuck around to the very, very end, why don't you go ahead and comment a radio emoji. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. If you uh, wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe and I promise you will be definitely entertained. Happy holidays, guys.